With that said, let me introduce my first guest this hour. Her name is Caroline Gaithuma, and she's a transformation life coach. Welcome to the show. Thank you so happy much. Happy Monday. Happy December. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. Um, oh, happy birthday. <laughs> no, happy birthday to oh. you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to sing for you. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, today we yeah. want to talk about strategic online job searching. Yeah. Of course, many of us know technology has just massively disrupted everything or most things at least in our lives. And those changes in technology have had an enormous impact even on how recruiters uh, recruit uh, potential candidates for new jobs. Um, nowadays, applying for jobs online is the current trend for most companies. But we want to explore how to actually do it the right way way okay um and so caroline you know applying for a job online can seem a bit overwhelming sometimes yeah. um uh especially if you are maybe not the most tech savvy person yeah. <laughs> around yeah. but um what would you say would be the first things one should consider even before they apply for an online a job listed online wow um first of all they have to get their take his skills up a bit because some of these things are basic like you just need to know how to navigate through websites you yeah. need to know how to upload documents yeah. uh, you need to know how to fill forms online so that's really basics right. of, of uh, how to start like, like what you need to start and, and those also are important because a lot of people get disqualified simply yeah. because they didn't upload it in the right format exactly or, you know they didn't do the right thing so yes very important yeah that's really really very important and of course have a reliable internet connection because some oh applications are like if you stop here you start again yes. or it submits incomplete information yeah so you need to somehow get a grounding on right. on some techie right yeah right yeah okay very yeah. important um um so, you know, when we're now trying to, I guess, submit our documents, yeah. should we be thinking of it the same way as we would be submitting our regular physical documents? Yeah, because basically what, what has happened is that most employers have transferred whatever it is that they need to, to decide whether you're the right fit or not for an interview mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. so that, um, you know, it's easier for them and they're able to like sort of do a short list online. Yeah. So think about it like that. It's like, uh, what would you have b submitted physically? Have that ready as you're trying to submit online mm -hmm. because they might ask for it yeah. and not just have it physically, but have it online. So right. scan your documents, save them uh, to your emails, maybe so that it's easier to uh, get to them wherever it is you may be in the world. Because you might save it in a folder and then you can't you can't access your computer wherever it is you are. So just scan them, your PIN, your IDs, all those documents and send them to your own email so that wherever you are in the world, you can access it. Right. Yeah. Um, and the truth is sometimes you just apply, I mean, submit what they ask you for. Exactly. Don't, don't, don't over submit. Deciding you want to <laughs> submit your primary yeah. school certificate for which one. Like, yeah. Just do what they are asking for because part mm. of the whole online process is they're trying to wade through. They're trying to exactly. simplify their own processes. Yeah, and it's part so. of the interview. They're trying to see, do you follow instructions? Yes. So even if they are asking you to submit what somebody hel else has just asked you a few minutes ago, in what format right. are they asking? Because that's another thing as well. Right. Yeah. So then when it comes to that, what are the best sites that one should look at? Like, how do you identify a good site to sort of now this is for searching for a job beyond yeah. even just uh, applying for the jobs because yeah. a lot of us you know we're on our phones we're on mm. linkedin we're on different platforms really trying to find opportunities yeah. so how do we know how to identify a good place or what are some of the best places to look so um there are so many sites that have job opportunities and one way is to just go to google and just do a search Secondly, you'll find some websites are being advertised, even on TV or wherever. Another way is to ask around. People have gotten jobs from different websites, so mm -hmm. you'll see people, you know, you can do your own research and ask your friends where they've ever done their own research. Mm -hmm. um, you can also look, uh, some websites are really geared towards specific professions. 
So you'll find that if you want to work in development world, there are some specific websites for that. If you okay. want to do accounting-based careers, there are websites for that. Mm -hmm. So I, I would ask people to really, really do their research on social media sites through their friends and just basic Google. Okay. I've personally gotten a job from just going on Google and saying jobs in Kenya and the websites came in and <laughs> I clicked and I got my job. So Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Um also then when you're trying to look, sometimes they'll ask you to subscribe to something or to yeah. input your email address. Yeah. Does it matter what your email address is? Like should you just sort of set up a professional sounding even if it's a Gmail account. <laughs> yes. Um but just <laughs> You don't want to have yeah. those, you know, those funny names you use with your Mabeshte, like you don't yeah. want to use that on your email. Yeah, address. you don't. Try to get your email as, as you as possible, sounding as you as possible, because I've been in HR. I did HR for like eight years at some point, and that was the first thing I used to check. Mm. Because if I see your email is Sweet Banana or, mm. or something, those funny names that you use for Facebook profiles, <laughs> I'm like, um, there's a sudden sense you get and you're like, okay, I'll, yeah. want, I'll look then after I can't find anyone else. I'll <laughs> oh look dear. later. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but that's honest and it's important yeah. for us to know how HR people are thinking. Yeah. 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 Um, and speaking of social <laughs> profiles, you know, yeah. if you're doing an online job search, then even your own personal online yeah. presence is really going to matter. Exactly. Because now uh, the new way of doing things as HR, because people have really mastered the art of masking. Mm -hmm. And so someone will come to an interview and mask and they've really rehearsed and they do a good interview. But when you give them the job, they can't do the job because they, they acted through the interview and they are uh, their CV was done for them, their mm. application was done for them. So you're like, who did I interview? Like, who is this? So one of the ways that people are trying to figure out who is this, when they've narrowed down to like five people or something, they do a social media search. Mm. It's part of the referencing that is getting done now. So mm -hmm. I'll look through, I'll just search your name and just look through your LinkedIn, your right. Facebook. Your online so if you're presence also tells I'm me. I'm disciplined and responsible. Yeah, all we're seeing are photos of you like turning up at the club, like, yeah. you know, and it, like, you're just completely out of yourself. Yes. You know, or the sort of comments that people make about you, yeah. what, what you did the, over the weekend, those things will really, really count against you. Exactly. Because your social life, um, your, your online presence tells me a lot about who you are. Yeah. Yeah. And the interesting thing is actually it's not just HR professionals who are now using um, social media profiles to sort of analyze and look at uh, people, even uh, visa applicants nowadays. Yeah. Uh, a lot of governments are now also turning towards visa applications. Yeah, exactly. Because now um, it's, it's a new place we are in right now. We are trying to get the best people at the shortest time possible. So mm -hmm. whatever will get me to see through to you I'll use that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so still on the online job searching, we've said, you know, some, some, some of the sites will be specific to the field that you're working in. Yes. But perhaps, especially when you're unemployed um, and you're looking, you know, for an opportunity, LinkedIn has become such a humongous platform. Yes. Um, perhaps people should be encouraged to actually set up a profile on there. Yeah. Because uh, I, I find a lot of companies actually turn to their first to, to look exactly. for someone. Yeah, even when they're headhunting, that's where they'll start. Mm. So your LinkedIn profile is really, really important. And it's your first place that you can actually showcase what you can do. Mm. So it's not just putting your experience out there. You could write articles about your thoughts on, on your f particular field. You could connect with people in your career, you know, and those people who are, you know, going to pave a way for you in your career. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's really important for you to do LinkedIn. It's really important for you to be active on it, to create as much um, presence on there, as much connection on there, and just try and create solutions for people on mm -hmm. your prof profile through articles or posts or, or, you know, connecting other people. Right. Yeah. Um, and maybe just finally here, um, what would you say then about like even stating your references? Should you mm. always ask your references for permission first mm. uh, before you 
add their names onto a platform and you give out their phone number and their email <laughs> address, what would you say? Yeah, it's very, very important because they are referencing you. And so they need uh, to know that they might get a call about you and also to give a good word in for you. Because if, you, if you're putting somebody as your reference and then you don't tell them, then somebody calls them about you and maybe they can't remember you because mm -hmm. sometimes it's people that you've worked with or people that have mentored you and probably they have other people in their life, you know? Mm -hmm. So there you'd be like, who is that? Mm -hmm. I can't remember who that is. And that's not a good thing for, for you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me shout out those of you who are watching. Um, uh, I have here, again, Juliet Kosgei from El Geo Maraquet. I also have Chacham Rege Khadija, Stefa uh, Kichungi Uji. <laughs> so that's a name you wouldn't put on your <laughs> Gmail address, let's say. Amor Powers, Prince Moon, Weru Paul, Cindy Cardi, as well, Abby Tush Jr., One Boy Ndiba, and Charles Kafu Kafu, uh, watching us from Karatina. Thank you all so much for being a part of the show and engaging with us. We're going to take a short break right now. Um, and as we come back, we'll continue with more personal development here on Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with my guest, Caroline Gaithuma, uh, a transformation life coach. And we're talking about strategic online job searching. Okay, we've looked at everything as far as, you know, what are some of the different tips as far as where to go to look for an online job, how you should present yourself, how much your social media profiles also do matter in the quest for looking for that. And so Agnes and Junguna, you say you're enjoying the show. I also have Anne Kangede who says, good morning, Joyce. I love today's uh, inspirational word, complete with yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Dominant Jones says, how can we connect with her social status? Because I personally need that job. Kwani, there was a job you've advertised. <laughs> I didn't hear myself advertising <laughs> She's not job. advertised a specific <laughs> job, but we're talking about how to position yourself or how to find jobs online, okay? Um, so keep SMSing in to 22999. You can also reach us on social media, at SwitchTVKE on Instagram and at SwitchTV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. Um, someone here is asking, Caroline, what do you think about online jobs that pay you for working online? Like the essay writing jobs, would you advise people to do such jobs yeah most definitely and that's where the world is going to right now everyone is moving online and so some of these jobs that we do and report to work for we might actually be doing them from home and that's a great opportunity to start um, building your profile if that's what you love to do mm -hmm. but I've seen people trying to do that when it's not their passion when mm -hmm. it's not something that they're really uh, passionate about or even gifted with yeah and they don't have the discipline to do that so they end up getting very frustrated and um, they feel worse than somebody who doesn't have a job because it's really intensive people work on deadlines crazy deadlines they work with different timelines because their clients are all over the world yeah so you have to have the right discipline to do that and you also have to have the right attitude to do that you many people are trying that as a get rich quick thing and it takes a lot of work and a lot of you know passion to do that sure yeah um when you're searching online of course and you're seeing like there's a request for people to submit their applications and whatnot yeah what happens if you know you don't have all the the qualifications required should you still just give it a, a, a shot should you still just go ahead and apply you know hoping <laughs> that the rest of your qualities would um almost make up for because sometimes they'll ask you for i don't know 15 years of work yeah. or even or let's bring it even closer home mm. you know four years work experience which unfortunately yeah. not many people can actually say they've had consistently yeah maybe you've had three mm. right yeah. can you still apply for that job or what would be your tips uh, as far as navigating that mm. and does that sort of put you since you worked in hr yeah do you get irritated when people who haven't met exactly four <laughs> years work experience um, apply for a job mm -hmm. does it sort of disqualify them you know even for mm. future prospects no they it doesn't because what happens is there's something we are looking for 
from from a HR perspective, there's something, there's someone we are looking for. And when we say four years experience, sometimes it's about the work ethic, sometimes it's about the drive, sometimes it's about the knowledge of, of the subject and you know how to, to create solutions for the position they are getting. Mm. And you might find that somebody has two years experience, but where they have worked and the role they were in actually mm -hmm. gives them that, mm -hmm. what we are looking for when we say four years experience. Right. So don't hesitate because of that. What I would try to say is look at the job description you know when they're telling you that this position is open they give you the job description they tell you these are the roles you're going to do these are the important skills that we need look at that and if you feel like your previous work experience or whatever you've been doing with your life fits that and can deliver that then apply for that job mm -hmm. I've hired people who um, had higher diploma and not degree and we were looking for degree Mm. So it's it's not about that. There's something. Try and figure out what exactly do they want. Yeah. Because most of the time, applicants are looking for what do I want? Yeah. I want 70k salary. Yeah. And so they they are trying to push 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 an agenda. Look from that other perspective. What are they looking for? Can I offer that? Okay. Yeah. Um. And very quickly before our time runs out now, yeah. I have a couple of SMSs I want to get to you. But also in our previous hour, mm -hmm. we were talking about volunteerism. Okay? Yeah. And one of the big questions that was coming out is, you know, do businesses and organizations actually provide opportunity for young people to volunteer? Mm. But also I was talking with the Secretary General of the Red Cross, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Asha, yeah. who is really hoping that volunteer Volunteerism would begin to count mm. as proper experience yes. um, in one CV when they're looking for a job. Mm. And so, you know, having worked in this place for so long, mm. how do HR professionals view volunteer experience? And mm. is that something people should be highlighting yeah. in their CVs? Yeah, but I've seen a lot of people just say volunteer this organization, nothing about what they did, mm. nothing about the specifics of the roles they played, yet that's exactly what we are looking for. So okay. if I as a HR see that you have volunteered anywhere and whatever you are doing aligned to what aligns to what I need in the person that I'm seeking to hire right. then I'll give you a chance okay so yeah. as you're reading through the job description yeah. and what they're looking for yeah try and think back to your volunteer experience exactly. and if anything you did you know um, aligns with what they're looking for yeah and so list it down you're saying do act yes. the same way you would talk about what you did for your job exactly talk about what you did for your volunteer. precisely perfect yeah. okay so that should be encouraging to a lot of people yeah. that, that HR professionals actually look out for yeah them. we do look okay yeah. some final questions here as we get ready to go on break is it right to follow up an online job if you haven't received a call yet and how do you trust that the they received your application, right? Because it's technology. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. You know, is it okay to follow up? So some some organizations and most organizations will tell you if we don't speak to you within this time period, then we have not, um, you know, you have not been considered. So mm -hmm. honor that because sometimes when HR people put up an application, you know, uh, an advertisement for a position, they get thousands yeah. of applicants. And so they can only say, if we've not contacted you by this time, then you're not in. So if okay. all of you blast them again, did I get the job? Did I get the job? Right. Sometimes it's not so good. So yeah. just look at what they're saying because most of them will tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and provided you did, you followed the instructions, yes. you should be okay. Exactly. Um, there was someone who asked a question about how do we know if it's a legit site advertising a job, most could be fake. I think we touched on that already mm -hmm. earlier. But finally, and very quickly, someone here says, I want to set up my online profile to help with marketing myself. Yeah. How do I sell myself online? What kind of information should I use? Very quickly as we wrap up. Okay, so most organizations will have a profile where they want job seekers to update, so follow that instruction. For you who wants to just blast out to different organizations, make sure your experience is very clear, what you've been doing, the roles you've been playing, the organizations you've been working for, and what your passion is. Put a bit of yourself, your essence in that document. Great. Yeah. Caroline, thank you so much for thank coming you. through to Full Circle with Joyce. It's been a pleasure talking with you this morning. Thank you. And uh, hopefully as many of you guys have learned something today. Now, coming up next, we're going to shift gears just a little bit as I bring in my next guest. And we're going to be talking about how to commit again, okay? Um, maybe you, there's like a project you started, say in December, ilikuwa new year resolution ya January, fika popote anyway. We want to talk about that when we come back from the break. This is Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned. Double two triple nine is the SMS line.